Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about Azure AD Connect specific uh, connector configuration uh, from the rules engine um, where we can, you know, uh, open up the synchronization rule editor, try to learn about more about the synchronization rules and how the attributes flow will be known. In the previous lecture, we learned about a uh, complete PPT presentation, how theoretically it's going to work. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we are trying to implement as a demo. Let's uh, dig into the demo part. So as a first step, you know, if you see here, I can open up the uh, synchronization services. So once I install AAD Connect, I get all these uh, four different um, icons or the programs where we can start the first one uh, would be the AAD connect and other one would be the synchronization rule editor from here you can enable the rule specific and the sync specific services can be run from here and the web services specific but now in this lecture we will focus on a synchronization service manager uh, for the syncing specific and if you want to configure reconfigure anything you would actually go to AAD connect and click on that so the configuration wizard will start in fact we are going to demonstrate that for the single sign-on or the hybrid uh, AD integration in one of the lecture now uh, if you see here this is where the operations will show the all the objects that are synced for example here uh, 250 eight uh, different connections got uh, disconnected and if you see here if anything is uh, connected and synced it's gonna show you and if there are an errors it's gonna show you here in the right side with the errors so all that information we can find out here for example this is a good example to see here uh, you have the outbound and inbound specific objects information will be shown here so all these information uh, is getting synced up so in the previous uh, demos what we have done is we synced up with a uh, password has synchronization option we have chosen and we filtered uh, at the domain level now if you want to change this configuration uh, this is where you can uh, do it actually within the synchronization service manager you see here you have the connectors so uh, if you see here there are four different uh, tabs you have the first one is operations operations will give you the more information on your how many objects are getting synced and uh, the sync process whether it is sync success or fail if so failed with uh, what are those errors let's say you know this is where it got you know failed with all these errors so this kind of information you can find out so it's mostly useful for you in terms of uh, resolving any of the operational issues in fact there are no problems on this sync at this point of time you see here everything is going uh, success state now uh, coming back to the connectors as we talked in the PPT if you can remember we talked about within this PPT about local AD connector space as well as the Azure AD connector space and it between we do have here inbound and outbound specific meta surf and now if you see here uh, in the connectors you have one is pointing actually if you see here the type uh, Windows is your active directory which is from Microsoft right as your AD specific and other one would be your on-premises active directory so all these informations are coming up uh, with the connector specific that's what uh, we discussed here one as the inbound uh, which is inbound and outbound specific for the local active directory as well as for the Azure AD specific now if I just go to the properties of this and uh, show you what happens here you see here the configuration uh, for example um, this is where the uh, AD specific you're in a configure for example I can configure any of the additional domain controllers where I can sync uh, from there let's say in the installation part I have only I should be in only showing only the uh, non um, read only domain controllers because read only domain control doesn't work but later point if you want to you know, sync from there you can you know do it from here to give that uh, additional configuration uh, and also if you see here the user ID which is used uh, for the syncing uh, purpose if you can you know remember this is a user ID we uh, created manually and for other uh, parameters especially here uh, the OU and other things you can actually look into here 
the filter options so these are the options which is actually selecting to sync from your on-premises Active Directory. Let's say you are not syncing your devices, uh, but you are syncing with the computer. So in your on-premises, we call it as the computers. So computers are syncing with your Azure AD. If you don't select here as a user in the next sync process, the users are not going to processed and if you're looking for any of the specific attributes this is where you can configure let's see you want to configure uh, maybe email uh, specific attributes like email id specific to uh, sync you can actually choose here to uh, customize that specific configuration same way if you see here for the azure ad configuration you do have the options here for the connectivity there is an account that was created for us in within the active directory so that uh, account is using uh, in this case for the syncing purpose so that's the account let me show you here if you go to the computers so the azure uh, ad specific uh, this is the domain controller uh, which is used actually and also there is another account also got created here if you can see and this is the six i'd be a specific account got created which we talked within the ppt also so let me show you additional configuration very similar to your on-premises you can also sync any additional attributes if you want to configure and you see here connected uh, contact and device group and users or the cloud anchors so if you want to you know specify additional anchors you can you know do it uh, but i'm not going to do any additional configuration now it comes to the discussion part for metaverse designer so this is a kind of you know designer uh, where you can you know check here additional uh, attributes if you want to you know, configure uh, for the device specific to sync up you can you know configure here like for devices groups and the user account and any public folders and the meta search is a if you're trying to search for any kind of you know a sync specific one for example uh, in this case i wanted to sync your account enable specific information or maybe account name equals to something like that you can uh, contains for example i say you know contains uh, dan so i can you know actually search now so it's gonna show me the results if it is actually syncing so that's what uh, the meta self would be you no know, used but if i just go back to uh, additional configuration that we discussed uh, for the uh, rules editor uh, this is the key concept like uh, let's say I have a user account maybe uh, maybe I can take uh, EA uh, EN admin so his department if I just configure his uh, office maybe from uh, let's say tally and if that that's a case actually I'll just click apply and okay so if you use the account uh, with the attribute of office is uh, specific to Delhi then I want to sync or I, I wanted to do some additional configuration which I can do it so to do that what I will be doing is I will be you know, going back to the synchronization rule editor so here as we discussed in the uh, PPT like you do have inborn and outbound so you can choose uh, the configuration for the inbound uh, let's say if you are trying from inbound from AD so definitely this is an AD account and not the Azure account so user uh, join is the uh, specific you want to you know sync example so what you can do is you can you know clone uh, this specific one by edit so when you are trying to edit it will give you a warning that you, you wanted to um, create a copy of the existing record um, if so you know click on yes so it's always recommended you to uh, clone the existing record if you're trying to do any modifications so so that you can customize further level otherwise if something goes wrong it would be difficult for you to reconfigure all these attributes information without having a clone copy information so it's better that you always clone so there is not going to be any database kind of you know sizing all that impact so 
always always go for copy uh, the clone so in my case I'm just in a cloning uh, you see here this is where the connected system and the user object and all that and in this uh, scoping uh, in the in the scoping uh, filter I should be no um, should be given here the value so here a uh, precedence number is uh, I need to you know give the precedence number so always the precedence number as we discussed within the PPT uh, number one is the highest one and uh, anything above that would be the next level for example here the highest one is 100 followed by 1 at 1 so it means that the first rule will run for 100 and then goes to the 1 at 1 so if I want this to be you no know, run as a 99 I can give this number and click on my um, scoping filter this is where I can say edit uh, maybe uh, I would say attribute as my office for example here if I know that a specific value as the office so I would you know give here as the office so normally department uh, you know what we choose here um, in the production so I'll just you know go for the department so if I just go to department so if I f find the department is so I'm sorry you know I need to you know go back um, to the previous value so I'll just you know uh, previous and uh, here I don't want to change anything these two but I want to add additional value that means uh, for example the user is matching with uh, all these values but also additional value as the department so I wanted to give here as a department um, is belongs to maybe HR or maybe IT uh, I wanted that user uh, to be you no know, synced so I can do that by uh, going back to the department uh, or department number so in this case I can simply enter here department uh, and equals uh, to maybe HR example so what would happen is um, these all becomes as a true so in this case only from the HR department gets you know synced so if I just you know click on next uh, and default things these are the objects these are the anchor specific uh, these are the uh, target um, for example as we discussed if you remember the uh, object ID from your local AD and also from the Azure AD as a source anchor binary so these are uh, setting up um, so whatever the value was there here in the DS uh, connectivity good same value will be you know, replicated here under source binary and click on next that would actually configures almost for me uh, with a clone so continue saving the rule uh, contents that are not defined in the schema all that values because uh, you are doing the changes so if you want to you know sure that you know you want to change that you can you know click on that so in my case I'm not actually doing any changes but I just wanted to you know show you here so once the rule got you know created it will start syncing so how do you see that is um, again you would you know go to the monitoring of that um, of this a uh, service in service synchronization and then uh, under monitoring you should be able to check uh, that specific one which would normally filter out with only HR department and now for us uh, in this uh, you also have here the outbound also so you are actually trying to construct the required uh, rules for uh, for working here properly for the AAD connect specific so these are the very advanced and if you are uh, if you have a requirement as a custom uh, rules or custom attributes to be you no know, sync then only you would be you know, choosing all this otherwise you would actually go with the default configuration but it is a good to know all this specific configuration for you let's see if I wanted to uh, start the synchronization process I can do it from the GUI uh, by going to my connectors right click and run so here I have the uh, full import also I also have the Delta and Delta import and Delta synchronization all these options so I can do it directly so these are the two connectors as we talked one for uh, one for the sync process for the Azure AD specific other one would be from your local on-premises now uh, if you want to you know, do it uh, in both ways you have your run configuration that's gonna you know run for the Delta or full sync uh, synchronization options but what if if I want you to know, do it in a smart Way, uh, would be the PowerShell so I can you know run these uh, PowerShell uh, 
commands to get a desync scheduler so this is gonna uh, show me the information of current uh, current sync uh, configuration with the delta as we discussed within the ppt for example the next uh, time it's gonna sync around you know 7 a.m or 7 p.m it's gonna sync and uh, followed by other one would be uh, you can you know sync with the delta if you want to do it you know you can simply click on a delta so if you just go and uh, check the operations you see here it just got you know synced up with the 19 uh, it just got synced of these two earlier we were you know selecting this so uh, there are no objects got you know created but you know what if, if I have any of the new account just got you know created example uh, I'll just create here a new user account uh, and if you see here, uh, the specific user account UPIN is not yet configured. Yeah, it's configured. Uh, so that's good. So I just created a user account. And if I start again, sync with the same command with a delta, I should be able to see here uh, this time in progress. You see here and automatically this time at least one user account is showing up if i just double click on this specific one i i'm gonna you know get the new account information like ea admin which we just created it's got you know syncing process started so if i just go to my uh, azure ad portal uh, the account should you know come up here any point of time so i'll just go here and search for ea admin so i might you know get it uh, if the sync process is completed so I'll just close this close this to show you here the sync process is completed so now if I just search um, I should be able to see so I'm able to see here as the EA admin uh, with the source of Windows Server AD and that's how you can you know, troubleshoot further uh, if you really need it um, how that uh, sync process was completed and what rules were you know made um, or what was you know initiated in this case let's configure here uh, and search more uh, like you know meta meta self search like if i just go for scope for all and if a user account that's a username which we just created ea admin and if i just you know try to search i got a display name as ea admin if i just double click out and i can see here the sync rule which are involved here um, with the values uh, and the timestamp which it uh, actually took if you see here all these are the values uh, and the rules which are coming from your uh, sync editor rule if you just go ahead and search here all these rules will you know match definitely to um, to initiate the sync process uh, and if you see here i'm actually you know trying to search for the uh, in from user and you see here uh, boolean and the string all that uh, is the new name of the new rule for example here user account enabled so you see here you should have here a user account enabled a rule must be matching so like an inbound i wanted you know search for a person and uh, you can search here that specific you see here you have an option called um, user account enable this is the rule which has actually ran and similarly in any other rules uh, if it is matching user common all that and this became as the value as a true so if I just you know see here um, this has been you know taken out uh, for the filtering option and if you see here uh, this is from the again user account is enable with this name and that value also coming from your of sync rules and you see here uh, this rule is from ad user account is enabled the same thing and uh, user join and other things are coming up from here so that's how the uh, even if you see the uh, president's order also that's what uh, it happened it actually you know started with the president's number wise sync also started or initiated the process I hope uh, and this entire uh, deep drive information might be you know, useful for you. Uh, mostly you might not be working for the customization part, uh, but if you if you have to work on that part, you know I would recommend you to you know first do it on your lab and then go for the uh, production environment. Uh, if every attribute is working with that custom 
specific uh, configuration or the rules then you know go and enable for the production otherwise uh, it's not recommended to do it directly on a product thank you for watching this we'll catch you in the next lecture